People living in one Springfield neighborhood say that an empty home on their street is attracting trouble. It's resulted in several calls for law enforcement and trash spilling into the streets. And now they are hoping the property owner is able to find a way to do something to fix the issue. As KZI 9 news reporter Noah Chavez shows us, neighbors feel anything is better than nothing. It's the broken window theory, you know, if you have a broken window in your community, then it kind of promotes more broken windows, more graffiti. Neighbors along South 41st Street say the two-story house has become a gathering place for teenage mischief, and they're growing concerned for their own safety. We've had repeated prowlers uh, that have come onto the property, uh, seeking to come onto my property, that we've seen come out of that house. Stephen Ball didn't want to speak on camera out of fear he and his family could become targets for the unruly house guests. Just yesterday, there were some people in the house that had to be removed by the police. Um, the, how, the house has boarded windows that have been removed repeatedly and then put back up repeatedly. The property is listed as being owned by Corvallis Neighborhood Housing Services, Inc., a nonprofit focused on affordable housing for those in need. So many of the neighbors agree that the land the house sits on is prime for a potential development. It's at least two acres, if not bigger. Um, um, it probably would make a great apartment complex for low-income housing. Neighbors too numerous to number say the deterioration of the home is what's most saddening in the situation. But they know in order to help prevent this area from getting worse in the future, the home has to either be demolished or renovated sooner rather than later. That nonprofit could get some people to um, put some backing behind it. Maybe we can get this cleaned up and we can get some housing for some uh, you know, low-income people. I'm not opposed to having going have people living next door to me in a new complex too. Not, uh, I think that, I think that just uh, gets people off the street. But neighbors feel that the house has too much value to just be taken down. I don't think tearing it down is the. I don't think tearing it down is the uh, is the um, is the answer for that nonprofit. That's the problem. We overregulate and then we limit. You know, we limit the. Um, creativity of a lot of a lot of our people who want to put housing up for uh, you know low income people reporting in Springfield Noah Chavez KZI 9 news and we did contact the property owners but we are still waiting to hear back from them